So let's talk about the NFL now. Uh, I want to talk about the NFC North. Um, since I live in Chicago, I'm surrounded by NFC North news. Uh, Bear, I work with a lot of Bears fans. My boss is a Vikings fan. My buddy's a Vikings fan. Um, I'm a Packers fan. Uh, I have a buddy who's a Lions fan. It's nice. It's nice to kind of be surrounded by all these fans, even in Chicago. Um, in news at NFC North, there was a lot of firings on Black Monday. Um, the season ended, and the Bears fired not only the head coach, Matt Nagy, but their GM, Ryan Pace. Uh, before that even happened, the Minnesota Vikings fired their head coach, Mike Zimmer. Of course, <laughs> no one from the Packers got fired. Uh, Matt LaFleur is doing an outstanding job. He's had 13 and three back-to-back-to-back seasons, um, so he's doing fine. But one thing I'm glad I haven't heard was Dan Campbell not getting fired. What do you mean? The Lions really stink. They only got two, three wins. You're right. They did. But I really like Dan Campbell because he makes he makes it work with what he has. And it's also I also like him because he's that he's he's a player kind of coach. He's always up there for his players. He's not afraid to show emotion for his Oops. He's not afraid to show emotion towards his players either. Like, I've seen him cry a couple times in news conferences. Some people joke that he's crying because he might lose his job. But I think one more year, he's probably – I, I want to say they might double their wins next year. I think there's a chance they might more than double. But I like Dan Campbell's attitude. He's a good people person, and I think he could be very valuable for next year. Um, What does this mean? What, is this, what does this tell me about the NFC North? The NFC North probably going to have some changes. I mean, I think the Bears might have the largest change because – not only head coach got fired, but GM. So whoever the GM is or the head coach, the rumors is, rumor has it that um, Brian Flores is a top option. I like him. He just got fired from Miami. But the GM is going to be an interesting one because, to me, the GM is kind of more responsible for who they pick in the draft. Maybe they might get a GM that's going to just get some really valuable pieces. But, then again, I'm not sure who's going to be that person. I'm not too familiar with uh, who they're interviewing, but I think it's going to be better than Ryan Pace.